All right, pronation is the same thing. We're just going to walk through it. All right, so you test it the same exact way. You start out by by starting in in supination, okay? And I'm going to want to see you flip your hand over. Keep, well, let's keep your elbow bent there. There you go. Now just turn turn your hand to mine. Good. Let me see that again. Okay, keep your hand good and tucked there. Just turn your hand to mine now. Good. Okay. Now I'm gonna have I'm gonna hold you right here. Okay. Don't let me move you. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Go do that again. Then. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it really good for me. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Okay. So I can feel that she has normal strength there. Okay. But let's consider that she was not able to um, was not able to do that motion. So let's say you were not able to come over. That was about all you could make right there. Okay. Let's go back to the table. Elbow, elbow on the surface. That is real, just like that. Okay. So now I want you to try to turn your hand away from you. As much as you can. Keep turning. Good job. Good job. Okay. Then if you have the full range of motion, that would be poor. Half of that motion or some part of any part of that motion. Or maybe. Okay. So let's consider if you were not able to make any of those movements, even partially. We would have to feel for have to feel for what, what is causing the pronation here. Um, pronator teres comes from the medial epicondyle, and I know that. I know I'm not going to be able to, to feel quadratus because it's going to be too deep. So I'm going to feel right here, feeling for a contraction for you to turn your hand towards. Yeah, there you go. But that's too much movement. Okay, I just need a little contraction. Okay, I feel a contraction, so trace of the score. Okay. Yeah, at this point, you probably wouldn't have that much motion for a feeling for, right? Mm -hmm. It's hard not to do it, though, I know. I know. Okay. Wait, you can't. I think, yeah, you can't. That's right. It's very hard to fake it. Okay, so um, so we got hand placements on pronation and supination, both. Let's move to the wrist.